Hello guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Ubuntu version 16.04 on your uh, virtual box virtual machine. Now, those of you who don't know what is virtual box, virtual box is a software using which you can uh, run different type of operating system on your native machine. So you don't need to uninstall anything for running an extra operating system on your uh, host machine for example i have windows machine and i want to install ubuntu uh, on my machine i don't need to uh, uninstall windows this uh, virtualbox software will allow me to use ubuntu for example as a virtual machine on my host machine so uh, if you don't know how to install VirtualBox, you just need to search for VirtualBox and the first link which will appear here will be from virtualbox.org and then you just need to uh, go to downloads here. You can see different kind of uh, downloads here. This is for Windows so you can uh, just click here to download VirtualBox and uh, if you click here on downloads you are already uh, we are already in downloads if you come to uh, the you know home page of this uh, website then you just need to click downloads from here right and then click uh, install or download this executable file for virtualbox and then just run the you know installer and uh, it's not complicated so i'm not going to show you how you can download and install virtualbox but after uh, installing VirtualBox, it's going to look like this. Now in my VirtualBox, I already have some, uh, you know, operating system running here. For example, I already have uh, Ubuntu uh, running on it. I have Kali uh, Linux uh, installed on my VirtualBox or I have Windows 10 also on my VirtualBox. So let's see how we can uh, download and install Ubuntu 16.4 uh, on my VirtualBox also, right? Now, whenever you, uh, you know, see it for the first time, you won't be uh, seeing these uh, virtual machines. These virtual machines I have, uh, you know, downloaded and installed after installing the vir VirtualBox, right? Now, in order to uh, install Ubuntu, you just need to search for Ubuntu here and the, the first link which will appear here will be ubuntu.com so just uh, go in this website and in here you will be able to see the desktop and you will be also uh, able to see the downloads section so in here you just need to click downloads uh, tab here and here you will be able to see uh, this um, link which says ubuntu download right so just click this link now in here you have uh, two versions of ubuntu avail available one is the ubuntu 16.04 at the time of making this video which is lts version in here you can also see the full form of lts lts stands for a uh, long term support version right the other is the latest version of ubuntu which is 16.10 at the time of making this video so whenever you come to this uh, page you may uh, always want to uh, you know download the long term uh, support version because this lts version will be supported for a long time uh, on the other hand this version which is the latest version so you will be able to see the latest feature in this version but it will not be supported for a long time because ubuntu releases its um, uh, desktop version frequently so for the for example in next one when you month when you come here it's going to be 16.11 or 12 or 13 whereas this version is going to remain uh, you know stable for some time for some years i would say okay so i'm going to choose this 16.04 version and i will click download here and now you will reach to this page now in here ubuntu uh, website will ask you to uh, give some donation by the way ubuntu is totally free and open source but in order to keep this project running it you are encouraged to uh, you know give some donations but for now i don't want to give any donations so i will just uh, keep these progress bar at zero so here my contribution will be zero 
but I will be able to see this uh, button which says Ubuntu desktop download okay so when you click this button then you will be able to download the Ubuntu ISO file now just click this button and uh, you know download of this ISO file will start you see Ubuntu 16.4.1 desktop 64-bit version dot ISO now I have already downloaded this file you can see this file is 1.4 gigabyte so it will take some time to download so I have already downloaded this ISO file in advance so that I don't need to you know waste my time on download downloading this so I have already downloading the downloaded this once you have downloaded this uh, ISO file then you will be able to see uh, this ISO file like this so this is my ISO file and I have saved this ISO file at a uh, desired location anywhere in your um, you know desktop you can uh, save this ISO file right now let's go to our virtual box so I will open my virtual box and in here in order to create a new device what you can do is you can either click here which says new or either right click here on uh, this um, uh, you know on uh, on this left hand side then uh, you know create a new device right so whenever you uh, have already created uh, a device for example windows 10 and when i right click on this device i can even remove this uh, windows forever right so for a new device i need to just uh, click here this button which says new which is going to give me this kind of uh, pop-up box now in here I just need to give the name of my machine for example Ubuntu and uh, this uh, virtual box is uh, smart enough to give you these options which is Linux and uh, you know Ubuntu 16 64 bit right and maybe I will just give the version of this for example Ubuntu 0.4 because Ubuntu is already a name in my virtual machine you can see here right so Ubuntu 16.4 if it doesn't give you this uh, type option you can choose it from here so type is Linux and uh, the version is Ubuntu 16.4 right click next in here you just need to give the memory size uh, for your virtual machine according to uh, the size available for you from your host machine so for now I want to give it for example memory size of 2 gigabyte so 2040 right and then I will click uh, next and in here uh, it says do not uh, add a virtual machine to hard drive so here we need to choose the hard drive and uh, other option says create a virtual hard drive now and the third option says use an existing virtual hard drive so generally you uh, don't want to change this option which is uh, by default which is create a virtual hard drive now okay so just uh, click this option and just click create which is going to give you this uh, option which is hard drive file type so we want to uh, create the hard drive type which is VDI which stands for virtual box disk image right so choose the first option and then click next in here you need to uh, choose the storage on the physical hard drive type so generally it's uh, preferred to choose the dynamically allocated you don't want to you know allocate a fixed size for your virtual machine which is uh, yeah good practice I would say so just choose the dynamically allocated size and then click next now in here the minimum uh, memory uh, your Ubuntu will require is 8 gigabyte now uh, you can uh, increase it for example you can uh, give uh, 30 gigabyte or uh, 20 gigabyte depending upon the availability on your machine for example I will uh, do uh, 31 gigabyte for example and then I will just cr create uh, click create which is going to create this uh, virtual machine on virtual box now once uh, you click create you will be able to see Ubuntu 16.4 virtual machine is created on your virtual box but still you are not finished so uh, you may want to click start button to start this virtual machine but remember we haven't given 
any uh, you know ISO file to this virtual machine which we have downloaded right so select your virtual machine which you have created here and then go to settings so just click settings here and in the settings you can change the name of your virtual machine in the future whenever you want or go to advanced here and here you may want to uh, you know choose these two options which will allow you to copy and paste between your windows machine to your uh, you know uh, ubuntu operating system or uh, vice versa so just select bi-directional shared clipboard and bi-directional drag and drop okay and then the other option is system here so system we have already allocated this much amount of memory so if you want to change it in future you can do it from here and for now i have uh, one core by default allocated but i can increase it to two or three or four in futures so for example i want two core to be used for this virtual machine okay now in the storage just go to storage section and in the storage go to controller section and in the controller just click host drive d here in the host drive d you may want to go here which is a cd symbol here just click the cd symbol and then just choose the option which says choose a virtual cd dvd disk file okay so just choose uh, this option from here and then give the location of your iso file so my iso file is uh, located here so i will just copy the path from here and uh, then i will paste it here and you can see i have this uh, ubuntu iso file so just give the location and select your iso file from here okay and then click open which is going to uh, provide the path of your iso file so your uh, virtual machine knows where to get the iso file for your ubuntu now you can just click ok from here and now we are ready to start our virtual machine so you can start your virtual machine by just right clicking on your virtual machine and clicking start or just select your virtual machine and then click start from here so i'm going to click the start button now the installation process for ubuntu will start so you can see the ubuntu initial window for the installation is going to set up and then we are going to see the installation wizard for ubuntu inside our virtual box so just wait for a while it's not a very fast process because uh, as you know every operating system takes some time to uh, do its setup and everything but we can see here ubuntu 16.4 installation has been started here right now in the next step I can see here my installation wizard for uh, Ubuntu has been started. On the left hand side you can choose the language in which you want to install Ubuntu. I want to choose English and then I want to click install Ubuntu. So just click install Ubuntu and now I can see this uh, window which says preparing to install Ubuntu and uh, it shows me two options download updates while installing ubuntu and uh, install third party software for graphics and wi-fi hardware so i want to check both of uh, these options here right and then i will click uh, continue and in the next stage uh, it asks me the installation type now you may be uh, wondering why it's saying erase disk and install ubuntu by the way uh, if you check this option it's not going to erase your uh, hard disk and install ubuntu it's just a default option in uh, your ubuntu which uh, you know says this so it's not going to do anything you just need to check this option which says erase disk and install ubuntu it's okay to do this it's uh, just a step so you just need to uh, you know select this and then click install now okay so now the installation process will uh, start and here is the default configuration i just want to click continue for now and now you just need to choose uh, the location according to this location your time uh, uh, you know will be set so for me it's okay for Ber berlin is okay so i will click continue and in here you just need to give the keyboard type now in every country uh, the keyboard uh, which you are using is different right so by default uh, the us uh, keyboard is uh, presented to you 
but for uh, now in my case I'm using German keyboard so for this I can choose German keyboard layout from here so just uh, search for uh, G and I can see the German keyboard and I will just choose the German keyboard from here but if you want to use the same keyboard you have you just uh, go with the default type so German and German and then click continue in your case it can be English US or any other keyboard now in here this will uh, be uh, the name of your uh, you know uh, your uh, Ubuntu machine so just choose some name I will choose uh, for example code bind and uh, this will be the username and in here you can uh, give the computer name also so by default the computer name will be code bind I just need to give code bind here right so the virtual uh, computer name will be uh, whatever your name you have given minus code or virtual machine right so if you don't want this long name you can just remove it also something like this okay and then you can give the password here give any secure password which you may want to give I'm giving my password for example and then repeat this password and uh, leave everything as default and click continue and now the installation of uh, Ubuntu will start now this uh, step will take some time so now the installation has been started and you need to wait for some time to installation to complete so I will uh, pause this video for some time and after everything is done I'm going to continue uh, with this video okay so now as I can see uh, the installation of Ubuntu 16.4 has been uh, done on my virtual box and I am seeing this message which says installation is complete you need to restart the computer in order to use this installation so when you click restart it's going to restart your virtual machine and not your computer right so just click restart and it's going to restart your Ubuntu virtual machine which you have installed right it's not going to uh, restart your uh, computer and if the restart takes a uh, longer time you can uh, just cancel uh, this uh, virtual machine also so just click uh, this close button and then click power of the machine okay so if the restart takes a longer time just close the virtual machine and start it again so just select the virtual machine and I will uh, start it again and then it's going to start my Ubuntu operating system which I have already installed right so I can see the operating system is starting and now I can see my uh, Ubuntu operating system which is on my virtual box is started so you just need to give your password you have provided at the time of installation and then click enter which is going to you know give you your Ubuntu desktop okay so I will just wait for a few seconds and hopefully I will be able to see the Ubuntu desktop in few seconds so my desktop has been presented to me I can see all the sidebar icons here and uh, here I can see all the you know options which normal Ubuntu have so I will just see about this computer for example and most probably I will be able to see the version of my computer here so I can see here it's a 64 bit whatever uh, disk uh, size I have provided it's there right and uh, the memory I have provided it's there the device name which I have provided it's there okay so in this way you can install Ubuntu on VirtualBox. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, subscribe and bye for now.